Parshas Ekev, Tovshin Ayin Zayin. Baruch Hashem, we have the tremendous privilege of being here once again on our summer tour, where we have the schus to record this year from Yerushalayim, Ira Kodesh, and we really do consider it a very, very special privilege. The Pesach tells us in this week's Parsha, Parsha's Ekev, the Ato Yisrael, and now Kla Yisrael, Mo Hashem Me'imach, what does Hashem already ask from you? Ki im liyira es Hashem alikecha. Hashem asks you to have yira shemayim, to fear Hashem. And then the Pesach tells us, Laleches bechal derachav, to go in the ways of Hashem. And then the Pesach says, Ule avo isai, and to love HaKadosh Baruch Hu. A few different things in the Pesach. There's yira, and there's laleches bechal derachav, and then there's avas Hashem. So the Ziva Shalom, says that we really need to ask the question over here, when we speak about all these different things in the Pasuk, why is it that over here the Torah mentions and stresses Yira first in the Pasuk? I mean, don't we say, we know that the ultimate goal of a person is to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu Me'ava, to serve Hashem out of the love for Hashem. So why here do we say and do we stress that Yira comes first? So says in Siva Shalom, in answer to that question, that it's definitely true. The higher Madriga and the Madriga that a person has to reach for is the Madriga of serving Hashem, Me'ava. Ava is greater. But there are also times you need to know that Yira will come first, even though Ava is greater. And one such time that the Torah stresses to us is in our Pasuk, and also as we know, Reish Chachma, Yiras Hashem, that we see that although Ava might be greater, but for some reason you need to come to Yira first. And it's interesting to note that the Rambam actually counts the mitzvah of Ava Hashem before the mitzvah of Yeretz Hashem. So too in the Aseris HaDibrois, first we enumerate Anoichi Hashem Alekecha. Anoichi Hashem Alekecha represents the Vekis Bashem, coming close to Hashem by doing the mitzvahs, coming close to Hashem and therefore loving Hashem. And that comes first in the Aseris HaDibrois. And then only after that is the second one of the Aseris HaDibrois, Lo Yielecha, which represent the mitzvahs Lo and that represents Yira, having the fear of doing Averis. And so too we see by the Parshish of Krishma, one which we lay last week, another Parsha of Krishma, which is at the end of this week's Parsha, the Parshish of Krishma too speak about Ava, and they don't speak about Yira's Hashem. So how do we really understand this whole Indian? Siva Shalom teaches us that like we said, although the highest level of serving Hashem is with Ava, in the way of, of Dveikus Hashem, Uladov Kabai, each one of the mitzvahs brings us closer to Hashem, but still, we need to understand how we go about Reish's Chachma Yeres Hashem. And you know how you do that, says in Siva Shalom? That your climb toward Ava Hashem, yes, we want to reach the Madrega, but your climb needs to begin with Yira Hashem, with Yira Shemayim, where we need to work on uprooting the negative traits and inclinations that we were that we're born with. Ki Yetzer Adam, right? Ra, the Yetzer Adam is Ra when Minurav, that a person is born with ingrained, ingrained bad inclinations. You first need to work on your Midos. You need to work on all of that in order to reach the ultimate goal of Ava Hashem. And our Pasuk is really telling this to us and is telling us how to go about it. Hashem is asking us, Ki im liyira. And then what follows afterwards in the Pasuk is the words, Laleches bechol durachav. If you want to go in the ways of Hashem, if you want to actually be able to go in the way of Hashem constantly regarding all the mitzvahs, you need to start, Ki im liyira. It only works if a person has 
Yira Shamayim. And that will set you on the right derech. And not only will it set you on the right derech, but as the Pesach continues, it will lead you all the way to the end of the Pesach, the ultimate goal of Abbas Hashem too. The opening gate throw, though, is through Yira. And the Siva Shalom tells us that, of course, we need to not lose sight of that. That our ultimate goal is to be Oyved Hashem Me'ava, out of love for Hashem. And that is why the Pasuk starts off. Why does the Pasuk start off with the words, Viata? And now. You know why? Because it says in the Siva Shalom, Viata. And now. Now, when you want to begin your quest to be a good Jew, to have Avoidus Hashem, Viata, now. That's where I'm telling you, Kiim Liyira that you start with the era. When you're beginning your climb in Avodah Hashem, but usually, when it's not viata at your starting point, your goal should be to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu and your life should be serving Hashem with Ava. And that is the way the Arachayim HaKadosh learns this Pasuk in such a way too, that the Yira that you have will eventually lead you to Ahava. And if one learns through the Chayvah Salavavos, which is brought down in Siva Shalom also, the Chayvah Salavavos tells us that yes, we need to love Hashem and constantly think about loving Hashem. But if a person doesn't have Yer Shemayim, if a person doesn't work on following the ways of Hashem, on not being Oivari Surim, if a person doesn't work on their Midois, you're not going to reach that ultimate goal of the perfect way to serve Hashem. And the truth is, says in the Siva Shalom, every Jew is born with the ingrained inclination to love Hashem. It's inside our neshama. We have it in us. And if the Torah tells us, we are hafta as Hashem alekecha and Krishma, and we say it twice a day, more than twice a day, because we say it in each one of the parshiyas of, of the first two parshiyas of Krishna, if we talk about Abbas Hashem, Hashem doesn't ask us to do something that we don't have already. Hashem doesn't ask us to do something that we can't do. So it must be that it's inside us, and we have to bring out that Abbas Hashem. And how do we do it? It just becomes corrupted as we go through life. We need to work on it. We need to filter out all the distractions and all the other things that come into our minds and all the things that we do as we grow. We need to filter all those things out and again, once again, purify the Abbas Hashem that is within us that we're born with. So yes, Reishis Chachma Yeres Hashem, like the Pesach says, Kiim Liira. In the beginning, at the beginning, if a person makes a decision that right now I'm going to work my way toward being close to Hashem, to love Hashem, Reishis Chachma Yeres Hashem, Kiim Liira. Begin, begin your journey, begin your climb up with that cleansing process of Yeres of Yeres Hashem, of Yeres Shemayim, and that is the per that is the purpose. Of the Yom Naraim, says the Nesiv Shalom. Yom Naraim, which are coming to us unbelievably so in about six weeks already, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, we come to the Yom Naraim. We need to keep in mind that there's Yira and there's Ava. And we want to be able to serve Hashem through the Yom Naraim out of Ava. But Yom Naraim begin the year to tell us that we need to start off with Yira Shemayim. We have to know that Yesh Din is that there is person has to, is accountable. A person has to answer for everything that they do. And that is why the Yom Naroyim come the first day of the year right away. You're a Shemayim. But then from there we go toward a Sukkot. We go to feeling so close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu with Abbas Hashem. What better time to start now? We're in the second week of the Shiva Denachemta. We're sitting here in the city of Yerushalayim and we know that after the Churban, Hashem gave us the opportunity of seven weeks, the Shiva de Nechemta, where we read in the Haftoira every week, on the Chama, a way of feeling, of Kla Yisrael, feeling closer to Hashem, and understanding that although we are in a very, very tough Golos, Hashem is always with us, and there's always the love coming from HaKadosh Baruch Hu to us, and we need to learn that this Nechama, where Hashem is giving us consolation after consolation for to, he's giving us one week after the other. The Nevi'im, the Haftarah is telling us, I'm consoling you, I want to be close to you. But in order for us to receive the Nechama of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we have to be the ones who take the steps to Hashem. We need to begin our Yerushalayim. And if we have our Yerushalayim, then 
we are zoicha to have the love of Hashem, to be close to Hashem, and have the real nechama, which will bring us, all of us together, back to Yerushalayim, Yerakayim.